Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change font size and color. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a PowerPoint slide here with the words Backyard Vegetable Gardens as my uh, title. And so if I want to select any of the words within this title, all I have to do is click on the word and it will select inside of here. Now what you select will decide what changes on your text. And so if I click right here on Backyard, and then I'm going to show you how to change the font color right now. I'm going to go to the Home tab, the Font Group, and the Font Color button is this one right here. It's an A with a color underneath it. And then if you click this little arrow, that's where you could choose from a list of your theme colors or your standard colors right here. Notice that since I just selected in the word Backyard, that as I hover over different colors, it'll change the color of that word Backyard. Okay, so before we even get into changing the font color or the font size, just know that what you select inside of here is very important on what will actually be changed on your document. In order to select all the text, a lot of people will highlight from the beginning of the word to the end of the word. Now if you do this, you'll see that if I change my font color by going right up here and I say choose this color, you're going to see that it does change. However, what you may not have noticed is that there's actually additional lines here and here which still have the original color listed. So in order to change all of the colors that um, or all of the fonts for the entire placeholder, you need to do a control A on your keyboard to select all. And this will actually select all of the words plus any additional paragraph markers that you may not be able to see. Okay, and you'll notice that now if I change this to that color and then I go down here and begin typing, it also affects this color. And again, that's because I did a control A in this area. Now, one other way that we could select all of the text without having to do a control A is you'll notice that whenever you click inside of a placeholder, uh, you'll actually see that there's a border that goes around the entire um, words and that's called your placeholder and it's by default a dotted line. If you click on that line it'll become solid. When this is solid that means that anything inside of here as well as future text or anything else that you put inside of here uh, will be edited to whatever changes you make uh, right now. And so again you just click it to make it a solid line and then if I change the text it affects all of the words. So again this is how you change the font color home tab, font group, and you go to this A with the horizontal bar underneath it and you click the little arrow right next to it. The colors that you'll see up at the top are your theme colors. These colors will probably look different for you on your screen because you have a different theme selected. The theme that you choose has a different set of colors that work well together, so typically it's a good idea to use some of these colors. All right, Down here at the bottom you'll see standard colors and this is pretty cool because your standard colors will actually uh, always be the same and so if you really know that you just want the same color blue every time you just go right here to blue and that's your standard colors. If you find that a color doesn't exist that you want you go right here to more colors and you can actually choose from any of this color uh, customization spectrum to choose from. You could also go to standard colors and choose any of these colors. All of this is listed here. You could customize the colors based off of the red, green, and blue uh, color scale as well. All right, so that's how you set up your custom colors. One last thing that I wanted to go over is the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool is right here. This will select a text fill by clicking on a color on your screen. So let's say that I wanted my color to match this orange at the bottom exactly. I could go right here to eyedropper, click on it, go down here, click on this orange area, and then it'll change to that orange color. And the cool thing is, anytime that I go back to my colors, you'll see that under recent colors, that orange color is listed. Okay, so pretty cool that you could add in the eyedropper color just like that. Now I'm going to look at this subtitle area that says tips for starting your first garden and then I'll click on the placeholder to edit the text inside and then I'm going to show you three different ways to edit your font size. And so the home tab is here, the font group is here, and here's the font size arrow. Now there's a few different ways that I could edit this. It's currently size 20. If you click in here and you replace that with size say 15, it'll replace it down to 15. You could also click this drop down arrow. You'll notice that 15 is not even listed on here. So it goes up in increments and so you'll see that as you get larger the increments also grow. All right. So you would choose a side that works well for you or a size that works well for you. I'll choose 48 here and then you'll see the 48 listed up here. Again for custom sizes you click inside and I could change it to say 45 by typing in 45 and pressing enter. From there there's two other ways to edit your font size. You could go to this button just to the right of the font size arrow that says increase font size 
and you could click that to increase it or you could hit the button just to the right of that to decrease your font size and click that to decrease it down. The steps that it goes by are the same steps that are listed on here. So you could choose if you'd rather uh, view on this area here or click increase or decrease font size. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about changing your font colors as well as your font sizes. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you.